Welcome to the 2016 NCHA Futurity. I'm here with the winner of the Unlimited Amateur Final, Wade Smith, who rode Metallic Candlelit and marked a 223. Congratulations to you, Wade. Hey, thank you very much. Tell me, what did that run feel like? That was the most fun I think I've ever had. I, I uh, After that run, I was ready to do it again in the second go. You know, I, the mare was just spot on and, and the cattle were so good and, and my help was so great, uh, helped me find the, the perfect cows and uh, I just felt like I could do anything. So do you remember much about the run itself? Uh, what was it about the run that really, you know, felt good? Describe it to us. You know, uh, my, my number one priority was to go in and make my cuts clean and in the middle of the pen and get pushed way up and... Uh, the, the mare pretty much just showed herself then. I, uh, it's probably one of the easier uh, horses to show that I've ever been on and absolutely one of the easiest three-year-olds uh, that I've ever been on. She's so mature and uh, it, I don't really have to worry about too much. If I can just get her put on the cow right and uh, she takes care of her. So you were along for the ride. I was, and I and it was so much fun. I love cutting. Ever, ever since I was a little boy, uh, I remember, I, I think I was like 13 or 14, I went to a Riddle, Terry Riddle, uh, Bill Freeman Cutting School at Terry's Place when Smart Little Lena was two. And uh, Bill Freeman would give me a hard time because the horse would fall down and start whacking on a cow and and uh, and I'd be smiling while, while I was doing that. And he said, you know, wipe that smile off this is serious you know he was giving me a hard time and and i i uh i've i've just always loved cutting what do you think he'd say today about your win i think he'd probably say good job i wish he was here to, for me to talk to yeah I, I bet um your horse tell us a little bit about metallic candlelit um when did you come by her um i had sold a, a three-year-old that clay johnson was training for me to alana chalmers and she made the limited non-pro finals and the non-pro finals on her and uh, he clay called me uh, in october towards the end of october and he said hey i've got one that you need to come try you know because i told him keep an eye out for something and and he's like uh come try this and it took me a couple of weeks to Chill with it. Well, just to get to his place to try it, you know, oh, with logistics. Wow. I was showing at the App World, and then I went home for a couple of days, and uh, and then he was in Catula at a pre-work at it, at his in-laws, and um, it it took me a little bit. But looking back at it now, I wish I would have just dropped everything and just drove straight away, just to to lock it up. But uh, I went and I tried her, and and I worked two cows on her, and and uh, I I knew. She, she felt so special, and I, I said, is she like this all the time? He, oh, yeah, you know, and I, I said, well, let's make the deal, so. Okay. And um, you have actually competed a few times here in the Will Rogers before. Uh, you've got a second. Tell us about that. Yes. Uh, first time I, I uh, showed here was in 1985 when I was 16 years old. I, I, uh, I rode a little a white, little white Appaloosa mare that was by our uh, Appaloosa stud, and I marked a 214. I, there was a question on the review. I, I have never forgot this. I marked a 214, and uh, two of the judges got me for it, and one of them didn't, and it took a 214 and a half that year to go to the second go. And I have replayed that run in my head. That's one of those where you wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat, you know, wondering, you know why did you do it like that and uh, um, you know I, I haven't shown every year at all since then I, I showed uh, two times 85 and 86 and didn't get to make it to the second go and there wasn't any amateur then it was you know I was competing against Shayla Welch and and Mary Jo Milner and uh, uh, Carol Rose and you know everybody who was was just winning everything in the non-pro all the time and uh, but I, I still felt very fortunate to be in the arena with, with those people. And, and now, um, you know, we have the unlimited amateur, and uh, it's probably where I need to be, you know. And, and I just am glad the NCHA has this class. Now, you've got a box here uh, that I'm assuming is filled with family and friends who got to watch you win tonight with a great score of 223. How does that make you feel? Uh, blessed blessed uh, you know my mom's 85 years old and, and she got to be here to see it and you know uh, 
my wife, I haven't been home for like six weeks, and she's at home, you know, with, with my younger children, uh, helping them get to school, and my son's in college, and uh, clean, uh, you know, all of my uh, horse family, you know, my the, my trainers and their wives and their uh, the people who help them and, and my people, uh, it's uh, it still feels like family. And I bet this win kind of makes up for that, that just narrowly missing out when you were 14. Yeah, yes, that does. <laughs> but, you know, I still wish I had that run back. <laughs> uh, that, that, that would have been a dream come true. But this tonight's been a dream come true. I, it, it still hasn't sunk in. Okay, well, congratulations. Great job. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thank you very much.